Alright, so um, MATLAB is a tool that a lot of researchers use because, um, or people who are uh, who have to deal with a lot of matrices and uh, linear algebra stuff uh, deal uh, use. So this is a great program. So, so alright, so as as with um, just like any other programming uh, languages, um, it just takes in uh, input like this. Um, and if you don't really want to see this uh, uh, being printed out, you can just uh, press uh, include semi semicolon, and it wouldn't print out. If you do it without semicolon, it will print it out. So this is a way to um, yeah store a number in a variable. So you can see that in here um, a number. Uh, variable a has been uh, created with the value 5 so let me show you again with b this as you can see b has been just created with the value 10 all right um so yeah you can pretty much do anything um let's see so a times b just you don't even have to just store it in a variable do it like that and just get a number but if you want to uh, put it inside a new variable then yes of course you can do that anytime and this what is this uh this is just a, a value that's uh, been printed out just previously just right before uh in the previous command so um so it, this value just changes all the time. So let's say this time I divide by b 0 0.5. As you can see, it just changed to 0 0.5. If I do a uh, to the b bth time, then yeah, you can see that the value has been just uh, been changed to this. So yeah, that's what that is. Uh, what else? Uh, let's take a look at random numbers. Um, this is the command rand, short for random. Let's see. So this every time gives you a different random number, right? Um, if you want to look at a previous command, just press uh, the up arrow key, and you can just see these commands right um, so with this one of the things we can do is create a matrix uh, that are three by four three by five right so as you can see uh, three by five matrices uh, matrix with random numbers has just been created for for a second so this rand uh, will come really handy if you as you do just do an experiment with a MATLAB with um, stuff and uh, and there's also another built-in function uh, that specifically generates uh, random integers which is randint um, you use it by Okay, so let's just take a take a look at it. So three, four. This generates uh, one random integer in the range from zero to uh, zero two and minus one. So okay, just gonna I'm not gonna run that. So this will uh, give out a random integer between between one and three because four is n and we said that it's between zero and
see. Oh, sorry. Uh, rent int was no longer used. That's all right. Command. Now it's run by. So. Yeah, we can see. out something oh um, let's take a look at what rendai does okay um, help is a great command you should become a good friend of it because it just gives you um, a description of, of the function so let's go integer became one anyway so no it doesn't really matter okay so let's try this Returns a pseudo random scalar integer between one and i. Mm. Okay, no, no, it's just for command one. Uh, let's skip skip this. Um, we can look this up. Come back to it later on. Okay, so um, let's let's take a look at creating vectors. It's very simple. Um, so let's start a bracket. This creates a one row, one by three, a vector. A vector is usually just a, it's just a one row, it's uh, or one column. If it has like more than uh, one row, maybe five rows, then it's not a vector. Okay, and same for columns. So if it's one, then yeah is a vector but if it has uh, several columns in it then it's not it's not a vector okay so matrix um, so if it if it has more than one um, row or one column then it's a matrix okay so say you want to look at two by three matrix yeah this creates a two by three matrix and as you can see this semicolon what it does is that it indicates that uh, the next line should go below uh, the current line so and this is this creates tries to create a vector Whichever you want, right? So, um, okay, so we have that. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, this is one by one, one by two. by one, two by two, and two by three. So, so that's why you see here five for two by two, and one by two, and just two, right? So, pretty simple. So, uh, let me just stop it here and continue on in the next video.